Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go over a complete run I have. Uh, it's always nice to um, complete a run. But in this case, I bought uh, the run already completed. Cheating a little bit, I guess. But this is uh, the Monster Frankenstein from Marvel. Around the 1972, 1973 period, Marvel came out with some um, titles that had some classic um, horror characters. Uh, Tomb of Dracula, Werewolf by Night were the, probably the most notable one. Um, the Monster of Frankenstein ran for 18 issues. There was also The Living Mummy uh, in the Supernatural Thrillers, uh, beginning with number 5, but I don't believe that title was uh, probably the least popular of all four. Uh, Frankenstein was first written by Mary Shelley in 1818 and 200 years later the character has uh, withstood the test of time. Uh, Mike Pogg's art, he was a great artist. I think uh, uh, he was like the, in some ways, the Marvel version of uh, DC's Bernie Rice at the time. Well, maybe that's not a great analogy. But he was he was great in his own right. Number two, Mike Pogg stood in the art. Number three, number four. Number five, number six, I actually bought this um, this uh, run with a with a werewolf uh, Wolf by night run. It wasn't the werewolf by night wasn't complete. I'm still trying to complete that set. Unfortunately, uh, the first appearance of Moon Knight, and that one is uh, what causes that to be a little bit difficult to uh, complete because of the price of that one. Number eight. So, <clears throat> you know, Frankenstein meets Dracula, and Dracula has met up with, you know, uh, Marvel superhero characters, so that kind of implies that Frankenstein is in the Marvel Universe. A superhero universe. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. It doesn't look like Mike Pog is doing the art anymore. The cover, the uh, the cover artwork doesn't look quite the same in terms of Pog's uh, quality. Number 12. Number 13. Number 14. Looks like some of the, the last cover was done by Ron Wilson. Ron, I remember Ron Wilson went on to do the, the Thing comics in the 80s. That looks like a Gil Kane cover. At least he did the pencils, looks like. Number 16. Number 17. This one's pretty rough here. And finally, the last issue here. Uh, 
And also, I have one other comic I want to show that's unrelated to um, these Frankenstein monsters I just found in the same box. But it'll kind of waste. It's kind of a horde. It's actually a superhero, I guess. But um, in this case, it's uh, Bernie Wrightson, um, who I mentioned earlier. I believe this is maybe the only Bronze Age Marvel superhero comic, quote, quote, superhero, um, that Bernie Wrightson did the uh, cover art both the pencils and the inks. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.